The United States, 1857. Slavery, rebellion, rumors of war. In three years, Americans would turn on each other and make history. But in 1857 New York City, history, the kind textbooks don't mention, was already happening. The date was September 23rd. A Christian layman named Jeremiah Lamphere held his first ever businessman's prayer meeting in Lower Manhattan. It was not, by all accounts, a rousing success. He passed out flyers for weeks. Six men attended. Two weeks later, the stock market crashed. Thousands of families lost all they had, and one of the greatest spiritual awakenings the world has ever seen began. Week by week, Jeremiah Lamphere's tiny lunch hour prayer meeting grew larger and larger. By December, his six men had become 10,000 men, and they met not every week, but every day. The New York newspapers took notice, and when word spread to other cities, spontaneous revival broke out across the country. In Cleveland and St. Louis, thousands of people packed downtown churches and theaters three times each day just to pray. In Chicago, churches had to have waiting lists for people wanting to teach Sunday school. And all across America, pastors were baptizing 20,000 new believers every week. The revival eventually spread around the world. In England, entire towns were converted. Some towns disbanded their police force because of a lack of crime. And so many people came to Christ, churches had to hold services outside just to accommodate the crowds. The world had seen nothing like it, before or since. Global revival. God started it with one man. It changed the course of history. And now, in today's world, people need to know, can history repeat itself? Can it happen again?